Greetings, brothers and sisters. I'm Professor Spira, and today we're going to lighten the mood a little bit. The past several weeks have been tough for everybody, and we've been talking about some pretty intense topics, and it's, uh, it's, it's been rough for a lot of folks. It's been intense. And, uh, you know, I just <laughs> released a video called Medical Totalitarianism yesterday. So we're getting into some heavy things, but I thought it would be good to also lighten the mood a little bit. You know, everything, everything's going to be all right. You know, uh, it's going to be all right. What was that song? <laughs> I forget. It's going to be all right. You know, and so, um, so today I'm going to talk a little bit about this. Uh, this is, this is some of the best entertainment that pus and mucus based society has to offer i'm talking about none other than tiger king so the tiger king is a netflix original and uh and you know and i know i'm talking to a lot of folks that's never even heard of it don't don't have netflix don't know nothing about this tiger king craze but this thing has been blowing up it's this sensationalized, crazy, insane docu series uh, on Netflix where they follow around big cat people, and so these are folks that own zoos. They're like tiger petting zoos, so they have all these little tiger uh, 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 little babies, and they'll. You know, kids come in and pay and, you know, and get pictures taken with the little, these little things. And, but it doesn't take too long for these tigers to grow up. And once they grow up, what do you do with them? You got to feed them a ton of food. And it's, it's insane. So we got these characters. So this guy named Joe Exotic, that's <laughs> the gentleman here. It's I am gay. I'm broke as shit. <laughs> I have a judgment against me from some bitch down there in Florida. And that's Carol Baskin down at Big Cat Rescue. I consider that bitch to be one of the biggest terrorists in the exotic animal world right now. Carol Baskin. Carol's bitching that she has this black cloud over her head of people thinking that she fed her husband to the tigers. You can guarantee goddamn tea, I'm going to put a cap in your ass. He would take a picture of Carol and take her head and put it on the body of a man in a diaper. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe Exotic. She even got your big daddy cigar. Looky there. So he owns one of these uh, one of these places, and it starts off kind of oh, and he fashions himself a a rock star, even though he he's not singing in those videos, music videos he made. So basically, he's got this spot. Oh, this is, uh, I got to pause it here. Okay, so <laughs> they can't afford to provide the dead animal flesh that they need for these animals. So they have these animals captive that need to be in the wild, first and foremost. And they try to make this argument about, well, it's good for the animals if we didn't raise awareness and... They, we didn't take care of them. Then they're, you know, they're almost dead out in the wild. It's like, uh, we don't need to have human beings with tigers in their backyard trying to, yeah, it's, it's, so that's already ridiculous. Like I said, this is, this, <laughs> this is just a, a whole pus and mucus based kind of thinking and the whole basis of this. But anyway, with this picture of what they would do because they couldn't afford to get is you got mean, you got to feed these these animals something and they're carnivores, they're actual carnivores. And so, you know, they're feeding them they, all kinds of cow, they just big whole cows and, uh, you know, horses and whatever you th- kind of eat, I guess, whatever you throw over there. But what they do or what they did and I will mention there. There's going to be some spoilers here. I'm not really restricting. This is just stream of consciousness talking about this. This is not any kind of journalistic review, any kind of serious uh, anal- analysis. We're here to have some fun. So we're trying to have a little fun but looking at this insanity. This is like a dumpster fire. Now, what I, I came up with, a, this is like a, a train that's pulling fertilizer that hits into a dumpster 
that's already on fire that's filled with mucoid plaque and feces and that's that's this is it's, it's a dumpster fire getting hit by a train pulling fertilizer it's uh so it's insane so anyway back to this so they would get all of this expired meat from walmart and so that's that's what they're right here in this picture they got all this uh bologna and you can see they got the bologna and the hot dogs and all that kind of stuff and they would get that from walmart and they would feed that because first and foremost these animals are not supposed to you know you're not supposed to have bologna i'm pretty sure that tigers don't encounter bologna out in the wild but they have feed them all this you know cooked meat and all that prepared you know anything that's here is pretty much going to be some cooked processed meat but they would feed them this but not only that but all of the workers that work on the place they would also eat this stuff and this is joe exotics i forget the name of his little you know the the tiger sanctuary of of joe exotic but they would uh his his people because he was only paying folks like was a hundred bucks a week or i mean it was just a crate just bare basically folks was just he would get a lot of people that were kind of weak-minded and on hard luck or getting out of prison or something like that and he would kind of go and say hey we got a place for you we got a job for you but there's one of them things where you kind of just show up and work and you kind of you stuck there because you're not getting any money you're not gonna leave and it's kind of this cult vibe and there's several of these places you know sort of got this little cult vibe to where the the way it's laid out but anyway that just was that was phenomenal to me i mean they they had to hook that up they would go to walmart get all the expired meat bring it put it all in a big thing give it to the animals and then the workers would take whatever like that's sort of the main food that they would eat would be this expired meat and maybe they have a little produce or whatever but just expired food from walmart was what a lot of these folks were living on and uh, so so there's that uh we'll keep the the b-roll going so so there's a oh just a cast of characters here this joe exotic cat man he had actually he ran for office he ran i think he ran for governor and president and people voted for him i mean he had a percentage it wasn't just like he got no votes or one percent of i mean he had got percentage of the votes and he was out you know and doing debates and what what state was that i forget it's even doesn't even matter it's, it's someplace in the u.s okay i, I looked it up it winwood oklahoma that's that's where this is winwood oklahoma so the dude started off as a magician and he started going, he was going to schools and doing presentations and then he would bring animals in and he would notice, you know, kids like the animals. And so he started just doing shows with animals. And before he knew it, he would have all these, uh, all these animals to do shows with. And, and then he had the, his exotic animal park. Uh, like I said, spoilers. It didn't end well for the for the dude. You know, he's he's not doing too well right now. But there's some other folks, some other characters, and that we saw a second ago, uh, Carol Baskin, and uh, yeah, there she, yeah, Carol Baskin. So so Carol, she, uh, <laughs> and this is. It was a music video where he he just trashed Carol Baskin. So they're basically just enemies and this the, the one thing that i learned about this this is kind of like all the different people involved ended up turning on each other and and they all just fight each other this is it's this is kind of like when we talk about get out the way and let all the pus and mucus folks kind of do what they're going to do just you get out the way and they're going to destroy themselves and that's what happened here man these folks just was at, at each other's throats and so you got carol baskin or should i say carol baskin 
uh, who <laughs> is the, uh, uh, the owner of Big Cat Rescue. It was funny. There was, I know there's folks in the community that have like shared their videos and they sort of had set up a whole thing. And I'm not even, I don't even want to, like I said, I haven't researched all this. There's just so much weird stuff going on. And, uh, but she claims that they try to save the animals and, and their, you know, their sanctuary don't look great, but then they would argue, well, that's what Netflix, you know, that was, they, to sensationalize it, they made it look bad. I don't know. There was a lot of, definitely a lot of sensationalism in the piece. This wasn't really like a hardcore serious documentary where you're going to be uncovering, you know, there was definitely like a you know, real housewives of whatever type of vibe in terms of just, you know, sh really showing off the, uh, the sensationalism. Wild, All right, um, I'm going to go ahead and we'll stop that. But uh, it, it just brought back memories from that when they talk about it in the documentary because I just remember everybody, folks were sharing this thing and I was like, uh, okay, you know, it it is what it is. Carol Baskin, there's these memes that are hilarious. And this actually got me into checking out TikTok. And TikTok, I found out, that's where all the young folks are at right now. Uh, you know, there's not Facebook, not, you know, yeah, there's young people on Facebook and YouTube. But that's more, you know, us, us, us old farts. You know, on, on Facebook and, and YouTube, but but that TikTok, that that the way that that's structured, that reminds me of of high school cafeteria. It's kind of like a like the just sort of a ca high school cafeteria. I'm not talking bad about it. I I enjoy it. I was kind of it's very entertaining kind of stuff. But the but the way that the social situation is structured there is very much like you know people that wouldn't become famous on youtube or other platforms they got millions of followers and they make these little you know 15 second videos where they just do stuff and i'll hear i'll show you this one this is carol baskin uh video carol baskin killed her husband whacked him can't convince me that it didn't happen fed them to tigers they snacking what's happening carol baskin now, take a look at all of these answers to that video that, that they just, that, that the original guy made. Carol Baskin killed her husband, whacked him. Can't convince me that it didn't happen. Fed him to tigers, they snacking. What's happening? Carol Baskin. Yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of entertainment going on. Oh, we got to mention Joe Exotic. He had like several several husbands, I guess. He had some husbands going on, and um, yeah. So there's there's that. the The other dude. So this guy, Doc Antle, this this cat with the big cat, uh, Doc Antle. So he's kind of got like a little cult vibe happening he's, he's, he has a little harem and uh so you kind of you know the, in the video they make it look like he just really preys on the women and you know, collects them and <laughs> you know controls what they wear and how much they work and uh, you know kind of he'll pressure folks to get breast implants and do plastic surgery and all that so again this is i'm basing this on on what i watched in the video so i don't I don't know these people. I didn't do the research to see what is and is not true. I'm just basing it on this piece of entertainment that they put out on on Netflix. But uh, they di didn't make this cat look too good. And uh, and I and, and just for the record, I'm not at, I'm not in favor of none of this. This is all pus and mucus based crap. Get these animals out of captivity. I'm not a fan of the zoo process. Just zoos in general. You know, that whole process. There's a handful of animals that can be helped in that kind of circumstance, but there's generally not a way to then put them back out in to the wild. You know, if they, they get depending on how they're born, all that kind of stuff, they might not be trained. 
to be able to live out there. So there's that percentage that it's like, all right, well, you have some some place for those those that percentage. But um, but this kind of this stuff is just so ridiculous, man. I mean, some of these parks have hundreds and hundreds of just big these huge animals that don't have no business being in someone's backyard you know showing them off to people and folks come little little kids coming and having their pictures taken and stuff so uh yeah spoiler alert someone got their arm bit off uh this i got respect for for the person i forget i forget their name this this person here that I mean that you gotta have some respect because she got her arm bit off, and she was back to work in like seven days. So you went from getting the arm bit off to then saying, "Well," and the arm wasn't even totally bit off. It was like they said they could do reconstructive surgery for a couple years and 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 save it, but she was like, "Nah, just just amputate it, and I'm gonna get back to work." Seven days later, after an amputated hand, back to work. I mean, I, I, there's something about that I, I do respect. I'm kind of like, I, I want, I want some of those folks on our team. You know, you know what I'm saying? We, we need some soldiers like that. Get out here and do this, this work because that, that type of attitude is just like, nah, you know, I'm, I'm okay. You know, my, my arm got bit off. I'm going back to work. And uh and so yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> uh yeah, that that is uh, that is impressive. I, w- I will say that. Carol Baskin, she's accused of of killing her husband and feeding him to the tigers and and then it's like, well, there is a an unsolved mystery uh you know, and I have no clue of any what was going on there uh anyway i just thought i'd I'd give you a a a little something to laugh at a little something to uh you know just just enjoy the fruits of the pus and mucus world because you you know you 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 gotta you, you, you like we say take pus and mucus out of the equation and there is no Tiger King's documentary. So a lot of people would be mad uh, that a lot of people that, that eat the pus and mucus would be mad that there's no Tiger Kings to enjoy. To, to, to you know, this is basically sort of like the, uh, uh, the Jerry Springer effect. You know, that Jerry Springer, well, not the Jerry Springer effect, but sort of the Jerry Springer phenomenon, which I should probably update my reference because some people probably don't even know who Jerry Springer is anymore, but. Did you really give my husband Listen. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. How could you do I don't know, whatever the current, somebody in the comment section tell me what, what is the current equivalent of Jerry Springer today? Because uh, I don't, all of my references are super old, Judge Judy and Mari, and I don't know what's out today. But whatever it is that's like that, uh, that's what this, this type of thing is. It makes people feel good about themselves, you know, folks that might be on the lower rung or society has told them or oriented them to believe that they're on the lower rung and uh, so they can watch just total degeneracy on television and make them feel a little better about themselves a lot of them judge shows is like that i mean it's just pure insanity and just straight just ridiculousness but it makes people feel good because lack of uh, self-esteem do I do I recommend <laughs> uh, Tiger Kings? Um, like the f- if you don't want to watch all of it, like the first and the last episode <laughs> might be might be sufficient uh, because it's kind of dur- there are parts during kind of where it starts kind of dragging on in some of the er- in the middle episodes, but it is uh, uh, and if you want to analyze something for you know, kind of the the pus and mucus based perspective 
it's good. It's it's definitely a good thing to analyze and take a look at, at how you know the the world the the world like how how can this happen <laughs> where does this come from and uh you know yeah living they lived in squalor <clears throat> and uh some of them was talking about all the roaches and all they had these trailers he was talking about all the bugs and everything that was up in there so it's uh it's something you you know do an enema to it you know that's sometimes you I watch the worst of the worst stuff and, and inspire you to get the old enema bag out put a couple extra lemons in there just to uh for good measure just to, to try to avoid ever going down that type of path it's all right that's <laughs> that's enough that's enough of this tiger king stuff so i uh, hope you enjoyed it i was just trying to have a little fun trying to lighten the mood a little bit we will we'll be back to talking about forced sterilization and the Tuskegee experiment and forced vaccination prevention and medical totalitarianism and all of that pleasant stuff. We'll be back to talk about that very soon. So I thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, please share the video. Uh, get <laughs> you know, it's not the most informative video, but those sometimes are the ones that that become popular of mine the ones that don't really uh that are where i'm just on here just just kind of having fun so um so yeah so it's good we need to be able to do that be able to also n n not live in fear because i'm not about that not live worrying and we don't need to have all that that political correctness type of vibe that needs to this is time for that to kind of be over. You know, there's a there's a difference between for me. There's a difference between that is beneficial for everybody involved. So that someone you know, there's a learning process that can happen. There are some topics, there's some things you can say where if you say it, then you you immediately be disregarded. <laughs> ruling class party or that ruling class party or this or whatever. So I don't you know try I try to avoid some of that kind of stuff. But anyway, see now I'm see it's it's easy to get me going and get me talking about stuff that I mean it's fun for me, but that other people find depressing so i will try not to do that we can just uh enjoy the the kooky insanity did i mention that joe exotic he he got he's in jail for pu putting a hit out on uh carol baskin he, he was uh allegedly was uh paid somebody to go and and murder her so there's that so anyway I hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, peace, love, and breath. Carol Baskin, venom to tigers, they snacking. What's happening? Carol Baskin. Pass the milk is, pass the milk is right here. <laughs> <laughs>